you doing guys it's gonna be our second knife review on our channel uh, today we have a knife made by Timberwolf this is the Timberwolf armor of God buoy I don't know if the lighting's good there to see the engravings on the side of the blade um, this buoy has an 11 inch blade it's only about 3 16 of an inch thick. It looks even thinner than it is because they have a tiny bit of a false edge on the top. But uh, you can see right here is about the full thickness. It's about 3 16 thick. So kind of thin for a buoy this size. But I don't know what they do at, with their heat treat there. but. This reminds me of the heat treat on my Buck 119. This thing just seems to be made of dragon steel. And the actual steel that it's made, I think, is like a 420 type of a pretty budget steel. But like I said, they must know what they're doing with the heat treat at Timberwolf because we have put this thing through a lot. I think we chopped down two trees at least with this, Meg. Yeah. And uh, the edge just seems to be indestructible. I mean, this thing... It's sold basically as like a wall hanger. It's supposed to just be something pretty to hang on your wall, but we have chopped like crazy with this. And it's probably the best chopper that I have, uh, other than maybe the uh, giant killer that we reviewed last week. But that thing weighs five pounds, and so that would be really difficult to chop all day long with that. This one's much lighter, much easier to wield. Um, the handle. Unfortunately, I can't show you the handle because I have it wrapped. I have it wrapped with some athletic uh, tape uh, just to make it more comfortable and to secure the scales. The, the handle, the original handle on this, which is underneath, is beautiful. It has a bunch of different sections. I can't remember exactly what it looks like, but it's, it's very uh, pretty to look at. So we may have to have uh, my other daughter, Aubrey, attach pictures or, or a link or something to the original so that you can see what it really looks like and I've got a little cross hanging from the end of this that was a gift from my daughter for Christmas uh, but anyways we'll give a little demo of this thing in use I consider this a chopper but we'll do a little bit tining as well um, and then uh, go from there Let's see. Oh, we got a standard piece of firewood here so we'll see if we can just baton this. Just try being on the ground. No problem. I'll go through one more time. Just about right through a knot there, no problem. And why don't we just chop through one of these? This thing bites in like crazy. Bites in so much I can't get it out. You know, we're already two thirds of the way through this piece of wood. This is quite a chopper. It just bites so much in, it's hard to get it back out of the wood. That's why I started chopping lightly. But yeah, uh, quite a chopping buoy here. And uh, 
Let's see, I'm trying to think if there's anything else I wanted to say about this knife. But we call this knife Big Daddy. That's earned a nickname in our house. This is kind of the king of, of my Bowie knives. Uh, despite its thin stature, I like stocky blades generally. But this one's an exception. It's an amazing blade made by Timberwolf. And uh, I guess that's about it. Uh, we'll see you guys next time. Thanks for watching.